Hello and welcome back. Today I'm sharing with you three UX research methods that you can use to empathize with your users using a UX research tool called UX Tweak. Now by empathize, I mean to understand and share the feelings of your users, understanding their frustrations and challenges and what they want to achieve using your site. These are the kinds of insights that will help deliver great products to the many people that use them. UX Tweak is an all-in-one UX research platform for UX designers and user researchers that can help you do just that. With powerful tools for improving the usability of websites and web apps from prototypes to production. You can sign up today for free to explore the benefits of using these tools, three of which I'm going to show you how to use in your research right now. You may be familiar with some of these methods already, if not, no problem, as I'm going to take you through setting up a first click test, a five second test and a preference test, as well as explaining the benefits of conducting these tests in the first place. Let's start by taking a look at setting up a first click test. A first click test examines what a test participant would click on on the interface in order to complete their intended task. It can be performed on a live website, prototype or a wireframe. A first click test helps examine if it's clear what users should interact with to reach their goal, to see if users know how to get around the site and to complete their intended task. I'd use it for A-B testing to find out what users prefer and to test which design works best. When I go to my UX Tweak dashboard and head down to the test usability for a smooth user experience section, that's where you can find the first click test. I'm going to be using a homepage design for a project I've been working on recently. I'm first taken to a general tab where I can see the name of my study check when the study was created and last modified. So if I'm working on a team, this is good information to see. I can also set a password and any conditions for the study here too. In the tasks tab, I create the task I want users to complete in the first click test. I can adjust the order and the number of tasks as well as the order of designs. As I'm going to be creating a simple test, I'm going to give them one task for now. This saves me time writing it out from scratch. In the questionnaire tab, I create a screening question to ensure I reach the right user group. I want this to be asked pre-study, so select it here. With this project, I want to customise the study by adding my own colour scheme and logo to the five second test. This personalization really helps keep the test on brand. Then I go to the recruit tab and copy and share the URL with users through social media. As users complete the study, I can hop over to the overview tab and check on the results. Once the study is complete, I find it useful to look at the click map of results. The click map shows me a map of where in the designs the participants have been clicking, as well as a summary of hotspots and how many participants clicked each one. I can also review the comments, time taken to complete the study and other details from users too. The second user research method we'll look at is the five second test. The five second test is where you would show one or more versions of a design to your participants for five seconds and then ask a series of questions. This research method is used to see what users understand from your website in the first five seconds so that you can optimize it based on the findings to ensure they find what they're looking for and don't leave unsatisfied. To run a five second test successfully, it's important to choose designs that accomplish a simple task, such as filtering through list views, confirmation pages, or simply to review a page. I'm going to test a landing page to see if it's easy for a user to sign up to a newsletter. To set up this study, I go to the empathize with your users section. You can see the layout is very similar to the previous study we set up so the tool quickly becomes intuitive and easy to use. 
In the task tabs, I create my five second task. Uploading the designs, I want to test and adjust the order and number of tasks. I'm going to ask two questions, so add them in with a description prompt. Under the messages tab, we again have the same pre-populated text that I can adapt for my study. I really like the option to include privacy information and consent, as this would be a really useful feature within the company I work for, as it's important we comply with GDPR policies and gain our users' consent to take part in the study. I'm going to set up a screening question in the study to test with the right respondents who meet the necessary criteria. This will make the results more precise and insightful. I can customise the message seen by respondents who do not meet the criteria. As users complete the study, I can hop over to the Overview tab and check on the results. It shows me the number of responses and how long it takes users to complete the study. If I were on a larger project, I have the option to export a PDF or CSV file to share with my team. And as this is a personal project, I'm happy to review the results in my account. Our third user research method we'll look at is the preference test. A preference test is a user research method that allows you to ask which design from a group your users prefer most. It's used to learn about the perspectives and the deciding factors, highlighting what's important to them or if the messaging of your product is clear. To set up a preference test, go back to your dashboard and just above the five second test, you'll find the preference test. You'll see a familiar setup as we go through setting up the study. I've gotten into the flow of things now, so go ahead and set a task for my participants to complete. I think I spend the most time in the messaging tab here, making a welcome and thank you message to be seen by the users. Checking the instructions is simple and clear. Again, I personalise the colour and logo of the study and I'm good to share it with the participants. To analyse the results of my preference test, I can compare different views of the results as well as looking at an overview to understand the overall results. I'm interested to know more about the task statistics and spend time looking at a breakdown of how respondents completed each task. I can also review the comments and answers to the questionnaire if this was part of my study too. And there you have it. Those were three UX research methods to help you empathise with your users using UX Tweak. You can see with all of the research conducted, you can analyse, export and share the results of your findings easily. Let me know in the comments below if you've tried the tool or what research methods you'd like me to explore next. Use code JADEEN30 for 30% off if you decide to subscribe to a plan. Have a great week and I will see you in the next video.